does not give you the right to say you need to respect me. No. The world does not owe me anything. Other Christians do not owe me anything. But I owe everything to Christ. Everything. Every word out of my mouth has to glorify Him. Every deed I do has to bring Him honor. And everywhere I go, it's got to be His message, not my message. He's here to help you this morning. I'm not here to do anything but give you the gospel and to love on you. But Jesus Christ is here. How many believers I have out here? Well, you know what? It says that if there's two or more gathered, that Jesus Christ is in the mix. So he's here. Jesus, we welcome you here. We honor you today. Does anybody feel his presence? Because I feel it. I feel he's here. And when Jesus comes on the scene, there's healing, there's deliverance, there's restoration, and we can guarantee that something's going to happen today. We can look forward to Jesus coming on the scene and changing some things in our life today. Well, you say, Pat, you know, Minister, how, how do you know that, that uh, change is coming? Because G everywhere Jesus went, things changed. In the cities that he went to, things changed. The people that Jesus touched, their lives changed. When Jesus spoke words, it changed the way people were taught. So, this morning, the Lord is going to speak. I was studying, and um, the Christian life is not about getting respect. How many of you guys know what it's like to not get respect? <laughs> Everybody better raise their hand. Because, man, I lived on these streets, too. And ain't nobody giving you respect. You know where you know where you receive respect from your brothers. No, you really do. Think about it. On the streets, when you're homeless and on the streets, the people sitting next to you, they're not any better. They may be a little better off or a little worse off, but everybody's the same out here, right? And everybody in their own little way helps out another person. They see him in need. See, that's Christ. That's Jesus. You know, that I, I, I was asking the Lord this the other day. I said, Lord, you know, why didn't you just come and just change everything? He said, I only wanted to go to those that depended on me. See, the Pharisees and Sadducees, they constantly just argued about the law of Moses. They couldn't even agree about their own religion, and they were always butting heads about secondary issues in the law. And therefore, in doing that, one section was right one day, the next section was right the next day, and all of God's chosen people were suffering because all they cared about was arguing about who was right. And they left God's people out of the mix completely. So God had to send somebody to him. And his name was Jesus Christ. And he walked around with the poorest of the poor. And he walked around with people like me. That were guilty of a lot of things. But he never stopped Jesus from loving. He never stopped Jesus from touching them. They could have leprosy. 
and Jesus would touch them. They could be blind, and Jesus wasn't scared to touch them. And Jesus cussed them. Those people were, were unclean. Well, there's a lot of people out here that are unclean, but God doesn't care. It's what comes out of us that defiles us. Jesus spoke that. He said, it's not what goes in a man. 